Hello dear children today we will learn how to read a skit excuses 2.4 excuses let's read the skit there are only two characters in this skit ritesh is a student a school student and mrs sen she is ritesh class teacher the scene is going on in the school and ritesh came late to school now we will read the conversation ritesh may i come in madam mrs sen now don't you think you are early ritesh pardon ma'am mrs sen i mean for the second period you are too early for the second period ritesh i'm so sorry ma'am i'm really sorry i started well in time from home you won't believe what happened mrs sen hmm we will see let's hear the story first what happened nothing short of an earthquake i am sure ritesh no ma'am really ma'am honestly ma'am mrs sen go ahead go ahead ritesh i was walking to school as usual i was half way down the narrow lane that leads to the market suddenly i heard a scream from the main road mrs sen and of course you had to investigate ritesh yes madam i had to find out if someone needed help and sure enough there was this person lying near the pavement he was groaning with pain mrs sen so you took him to dr jadav ritesh no ma'am i didn't get the chance just as i reached that man another man came running out of the shop there with a packet in his hand and the shopkeeper also ran out shouting chor chor catch him mrs sen amazing quite a handful for you to deal with than all at once what did you do then ritesh yes ma'am but the most amazing thing happened then that man near the pavement he too got up and began to run with the thief without losing a moment i ran after them mrs sen and then you caught them and took them to the police station ritesh we couldn't do that ma'am they just vanished around the corner all this happened so fast mrs sen then why are you late ritesh that's not all i realized that i had left my bag at the shop in the mad rush so i ran back to get it mrs sen and it wasn't there ritesh no ma'am it was there all right but there was a huge hairy brown dog sitting on it i didn't know what to do mrs sen interesting a dog on a bag in a shop ritesh yes ma'am even the shopkeeper was surprised he didn't know where the dog had come from how that dog growled we tried all kinds of things to make it move whistling and clapping and showing him the stick but he wouldn't budge and i couldn't live without my school bag mrs sen but i see that you got your bag finally ritesh yes ma'am finally the shopkeeper gave me some biscuits i offered the biscuits to the dog and lured him away from the bag mrs sen 
Okay, so let's say that accounts for 15 minutes. Ritesh, but there is more, ma'am. The poor dog began to follow me to school. It looked so poor and lonely and small. Mrs. Say, Mrs. Sain, small? Did you say small? Ritesh, I mean young, ma'am. It was big in size, but it was only a puppy, really. And it looked lost. Maybe it was looking for its mother or owner. And I thought it was asking for my help. So, I began a, I began a inquire with the other shopkeepers and passerbys. And passerby. But nobody could tell and couldn't leave it behind. Mrs. Sain. And then you found the owner? Who was it? Ritesh. That's the funny part, ma'am. The puppy itself found the owner. It saw someone across the road and just bounded towards the person. I was so relieved. Then I turned and ran straight to school. Mrs. Sain. Good boy. Now that your good deeds are done. There is something else you can do. There is a story writing competition coming up. Would you like to send an entry? Ritesh. Who ma'am? Me ma'am? Now I wouldn't know what to write. I am not good at making up stories. Thank you.